Hello, this is Dr. Don, and uh, I'm here today to try show you how to use our new Auto Create Login system to uh, quickly create the logins for your students' seats in the online game. Uh, you're probably already in the middle of being logged in, but just in case you aren't, I'll go through the steps here. So come to our site, rocketmath.com, come to Ro Login Central, and click here and there's a drop down menu you can sign into the worksheet program or the online game admin online game play if you're a student and shopping and ordering is the fourth category we're going to go to online game admin and it takes you to this page to log in you put in your email address and your password if you put in a password it doesn't seem to work or you forgot it or whatever you can use the forgot your password thing down here and um, you can reset it it sends you an email it asks what address you want to sends you an email you got to do all that uh, if you can remember it fill it in and uh, if you look there is a an email we sent you telling you that we uh, you signed up in the online game and what your ID number is, or if you're a teacher manager, what account you're a part of, and so on. And the online game directions, FAQs, help page, um, that's very important to go there. Okay? Uh, but once you, uh, you've you done the, filled out the login, click on login, it takes you to your dashboard. And if you are uh, already in the dashboard, you'll see this pop up uh, comes up automatically. If you don't see it, you can click on assign student logins, which uh, you'll need to do. So um, here's your options. You have a do it yourself login, which we've had all along. Uh, and in it, you fill out usernames create usernames, create passcodes, and select a learning track for each student. Um, you can still do it that way, but there's an easier way now. It's the auto create student logins for me. So click on that page and uh, up comes this pop-up and auto created student logins. It tells you the number of unassigned seats in your account. You don't if you're a teacher manager, for instance, you're only going to use a small number of those. Um, or you may only just start with a few of these today. Um, but the first question in here is, how many uh, usernames and passcodes do you want us to create for you? That can do up to 30 at a time, and you can do it in multiple passes if you want. Uh, let's just say we want to do 10 for now, um, any number you want. Then you click on the turquoise buzz button to have them created below. So we click on that and now we see there's 10 usernames that have been created. They're random three letter things for a username and random three number things for the passcode. Then uh, you need to assign learning tracks. Um, and so you can do this individually. Uh, each student click on sign learning track and choose one if you want them in different learning tracks. However, if you if you want them all in the same, you can select up here for everybody. So let's say you want to put them all into uh, identify fractions for starters. So you choose that and then you click on the green button to assign those logins. And now uh, those 10 logins we've just created have um, usernames, passcodes, account numbers, and they're all in the identify fractions learning track. Now. These are weird usernames, so how are you going to remember them? Well, um, what you need to do is go to your Export Students button right here, Export Students, and down in the bottom, or wherever your um, downloads come, is a file. And let's double click to open it. It's easy for you to say. Double click. Uh, let's close this picture here. Ah, oh, there we go. You didn't need to see me anymore anyway. Uh, and up pops a, an Excel file. Of 
course, you always have to enable editing to do that. And uh, you see the usernames, the passcodes, and the learning tracks all there. And there's a spot for you to type in the student names. So if you will take that file and save it, um, save as, and go to a good place in your computer where you can find it again. Um, always good to start with the desktop and uh, name it whatever you want. So my class 2020 um, and save that. Then you have that file <clears throat> and you can type in your students actual names here. We won't have that personally identifiable information, but you will. And then you can, once you have that information, you can go to the, over here, to the parent letter, click on that, and print out copies of the parent letter, which allows you to set the username, passcode, and account number uh, for each student. And by the way, that reminds me, you look back here, your account number is shows here, and students are going to have to use that when they log in. So it's pretty simple, I think, to set up your logins and uh, be ready to go.